Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hi there. Now, I'm talking to Marla Martinson from LA in the USA today. Marla, you've had a lot of experience with people going on first dates and the kind of mistakes people make. What are some of the horror stories you've heard? <laughs> Absolutely. I, after each date, I like to get feedback um, yeah. after from both the man and the woman. So I do hear all the things that people usually wouldn't say. And um, I wish I had feedback from a matchmaker when I was dating, so yeah. I knew what I was doing wrong. But um, a lot of the things are real simple that we could just make little adjustments and we might even know them, but we keep making the same mistakes over and over. For example, um, when you're at the dinner table with someone, I hear a lot of times people will be on their iPhones uh, chatting yes. or, or texting, yep. um, looking, guys may be looking at the waitress, um, drinking too much. Uh, it's sometimes, you know, you're drinking a bottle of wine and it's you're talking and then all of a sudden you're drunk and then you're spilling your guts about your, <laughs> your bad childhood, what kind of uh, drugs you're on, your depression, oh. your, uh, you know, abuse from your last guy or bitter divorce. So so a lot of things just kind of trip off the tongue there after a few glasses of wine. So watch the alcohol. And yes. say, even if somebody asks you, what happened with your ex? You know, you're divorced. What happened? Don't go on for a half an hour and tell them the whole story. Just you can always politely say, I was married to a great guy. We grew apart, and I wish him the best, and that's it. They don't on the first date. They don't need to know your whole history. No, I mean so. this is the thing. I mean breaking it down. I mean when you look at something like someone who's talking about their ex, at the end of the day, it sounds like they haven't gotten over them, doesn't it? I mean that's one of the reasons why it's a really bad message, isn't it? Yeah, they sounds like they, either they haven't gotten over them or they're so traumatized that mm. maybe they're not going to be good in a next relationship or ready for a next relationship. Exactly. So, yeah, exactly. And uh, some things that men can do, may, even if a man's not um, attracted to the woman, make sure she gets to her car safely. Sometimes you're having dinner and it's dark outside, and I've heard stories where the guy just says, all right, you know, See great you meeting you. Yeah, exactly. And she just left there, and, you know, she could get mugged or something. Do you know what? That's just about being a gentleman, isn't it, really? I mean, seriously, at the end of the day, it's not like it's really hardcore advice. It's pretty straightforward. If you want to come across as a gentleman, be polite. Exactly. But people don't, aren't doing it. It's I don't know what it's, it is. It's These, bizarre, isn't the it? The older guys tend to do it. Yeah. But, you know, you yeah. also mentioned the phones at the table and that kind of thing. And it's really interesting because, you know, you say, look, just don't do it. And people go, yeah, but why not? Well, isn't it obvious? <laughs> <laughs> if you're on the phone and texting, what's the message that that's giving out, Marla? Yeah. If you're a doctor or if you're a parent and you have children, young children at home, you know, I understand if you have to peek at the uh, screen if it rings. Otherwise, turn it off. Um, people, a lot of guys think that the girl is, is or the guy is uh, talking to somebody to meet up with later yeah. or to get out of the date or just are not present and interested. And people are doing it, even just friends going out. People are spending more time on the, on the phone texting than talking to themselves. So it's really gotten to be a problem. Also, uh, canceling a date with a text or breaking up yeah. or uh, things it's texting has really um replaced disconnected us from each other and there's certain times where you should really just pick up the phone and put that personal touch yeah. um in and I think the thing also, if you're on the first date and someone is sitting there texting someone or taking phone calls, it just shows that you're not interested. And mm. you may think that the other person will be impressed, but in fact, it's not impressive, is it? <laughs> it's right. Like, impressed that you're so you know, busy and popular. No, it's like, oh, I'm so <laughs> fabulous and I've got all these people calling me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But do you know what? I mean, that that's the thing I think people don't realize is it comes across as rude. It also comes across as I'm just not interested in you which may be the case but again it comes back down to just being polite and courteous you know if, if someone's going to take a first date with you at, at least they should be polite and courteous don't you think exactly also out here a lot of the girls expect the men to take them to the highest uh, priced restaurants in town on a first date and you know i've also heard of girls who one woman on a first date she picked the place and then she went on to order the prefix meal which was like 65 a person and order wines with each course and champagnes and cognac and dessert and champagne at the end the guy ended up paying six hundred dollars for the date You're there was kidding. no chemistry for him he didn't want to see her again he said i would have rather given that money to charity he was very uh, disgusted 
tested. So, you know, be you don't have to ha expect the guy to take you to a five-star restaurant on the first date when you might not even have chemistry. No, exactly right. Now, how a person looks on that first date, you, you actually talk about people bringing their A game um, to the table on that first date. Well, actually, we should all the time, I guess. But nevertheless, um, you talk about what people should wear and, and how they should present themselves. Can you give people some tips on that, the guys and then the girls? Sure. The guys, I uh, make sure your fingernails are clean. I had a woman not want to see a guy again because he had a bit of dirt under the nails. You know, it's don't be embarrassed to go get a manicure, guys. You know, yeah. it's great. Those nails nice and clean and not bitten. Um, if they're bitten down, you're going to think, God, the bacteria and just you don't want to be touched by that. Um, you know, shoes shined, uh, something nice and updated, just clean. Uh, floss your teeth, shave. Uh, you know, if you need a haircut, do that. Just general hygiene that sometimes guys don't think about, but but should get a little more metrosexual on, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you think to a certain extent going on a first date, it, look, it's not like a job interview, but to a certain extent, if you treat it like that, you, you want to put your best foot forward, surely. You want to present yourself in the best light, don't you? And that yeah, would be your advice, wouldn't it, to your clients? Yes, because you only have one chance to make a first mm. impression, and that first impression can really be the um, de deciding factor whether yeah. you get a second date. And ladies out here in L.A., the style is, I mean, so skimpy sometimes. It's unbelievable, and the oh, women, yeah. I think, I mean, I've seen some girls in L.A., other. I think they're, 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 the dress was like just a slightly larger than a belt, you know. I mean, right, we're talking. and then the... The really? cleavage and the big uh, implants uh, hanging out, just covering the nipples. So, and the guys don't like it. They they really don't. They they do want something that shows the figure. I hear yeah. that they don't want you know something like a baggy dress, and then they can't tell if the girl has a nice figure. But something that shows your figure, but that's classy. Don't show too much cleavage. Uh, so wearing really, such a mini so guys are saying that that they don't want these girls to look too sexy. It's too trashy, and it's like they're just showing it all. They keep a little mystery. Also, the guys are thinking, I know it's the modern days, but they're thinking, can I take this woman home to my parents? Will she yeah. fit in with my business uh, associates at parties and things? So classy uh, with a little sexy, light on the perfume. You don't know if, if uh, some of the perfumes are so heavy, and, mm -hmm. and that can really be a turnoff. And makeup. Men really don't like the heavy makeup. Um, I've heard it many times, well, she was wearing too much makeup. And I've had to tell the guy, okay. well, she was just trying to look good on the date, give her a second chance, and they they don't get it. So just go light. Um, and what else? Just the, And uh, also general... for the guys, you're talking about women wearing perfume, but maybe for the guys also not so much with the aftershave. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something fresh. Yeah. You know, so when I first dated power. my husband, I found out that he absolutely hated my perfume and he was just sick, you know. <laughs> Later, he told me. Luckily, he didn't I found stop that seeing too. Some of those aftershaves can just knock you out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, at the end of the date, what are your thoughts on a kiss or going further? What are your thoughts on all of that? <laughs> Well, I would say about going further, don't. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep with the guy on the first date unless you just want to have fun and, and know that he probably won't call again, then go for it. But if mm -hmm. you really like somebody and you're hoping to find a long-term relationship, don't do it. I've talked to many men, and they still subscribe to the idea that if she does it with me on the first date, she's probably do it, does it or has done it with a lot of men on the first date. Also, you're you're kind of skipping to another uh, level of in the relationship mm -hmm. already from mm -hmm. the first. You don't even know each other, but you're already at the point you've already slept with each other. It's very awkward. What's expected? Phone calls, all that. Ha enjoy that courting process. It's and funny though, show isn't, it? isn't that a double standard? The guy, the guy will sleep with a girl, so he mm -hmm. chooses to do that, but then he sure. judges her for it. Right. Well, God, men want sex. <laughs> I mean, just, that, that, absolutely, they're out there. But to isn't get it sex fascinating that, that they do it and then they judge the girl afterwards harshly by saying, "Well, she slept with me, so maybe she does that with everyone." It's like, hang on a minute. What yeah. about you? We could judge them too and yeah. say he's proud. You know, he's a slut. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it is it is kind of a double standard. That's mm. the men are looking for that woman that's going to virtuous, be the mother of my children, and and even though he wants a sexy woman in the bedroom, he still wants a good girl who's looks in his eyes like a real you know naive type of a oh my goodness man. not been around too oh. much. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. Women, we've just got to think of everything, haven't we? <laughs> we do. We have a lot on our plate, especially now we're working, we're, we're raising kids. We, we have to do everything the man does, but more really now. Absolutely. So finally, the kissing though. Okay, so we don't go all the way, but the kissing, what do you think? What are your thoughts there? I, I think a little kiss is okay. You know, I, I've certainly kissed plenty of men on a first date and, and it didn't turn out badly, but uh, you know, keep it, keep them, just give them a little bit to make them want to come back and see how that second kiss will be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Marla, those are some fantastic tips for people on first date do's and don'ts. <laughs> really appreciate it. And don't forget, of course, that Marla's got this book out called The Diary of a Beverly Hills Matchmaker. It's available on Amazon, so you can grab a copy of that. And that's it there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Marla. Thank See you, you next Naomi. time. Your love life. Let's talk about it at NaomiShow.com.